Today is an exciting day because we're going to make our first web application. It's going to be an application that takes a zip code and looks up the temperature at that zip code. And if that sounds familiar, it's because you've been watching all my other videos and you saw us use that in the uh, one of the worker services we created. Um, this is going to be a simple razor page, but it'll still have some interesting things like posting asynchronously and dependency injection. So let's get started. I'm going to use Visual Studio to create this template. Uh, I'm going to call it Razor Weather because it's a Razor page that tells us the weather. And we have our choice of templates, but we're going to go with empty to keep it simple. So let's go to the startup. If you've been following my videos, you're familiar with what you'll find in the startup. Here um, we can see that when we use endpoints, it's set up to always give us the answer, hello world. We don't want that, of course. So we'll do what Microsoft's documentation says, and we'll take the endpoints and map razor pages. One other thing we have to do is under configure services, we'll take that services and add razor pages. All right, now we're in good shape. So let's add a razor page. Step one is to add a folder called pages. Now we can just add the razor page by saying add razor page. Just a blank one. We're not using entity framework. And we'll call it index. And we're not going to give it a layout page. It's going to be a very boring page. Now, this adds a lot of um, NuGet packages, so I'm going to sit quietly and let this happen. Probably skip this whole part in the video. Okay, all the packages have loaded, and now under pages we have an index, and we also have the page model for that razor page. So within the body of this razor page, because I said we want to take a zip code and uh, post it to our application, I'm going to cheat a little bit and use this code, save us a little time, hopefully. There we go. So you can see that we have input and a submit button. Now to make this happen, to make this work, rather, we have to add the tag helper directives. This would have already been done if um, if we had not taken the empty uh, template, um, the other templates would have put this in here for us in the uh, view imports CSHTML, but we didn't, so we gotta put it in ourselves. So what do we have to do here? Um, we have to add this. There, now we have that directive. We can make use of our tag helpers. Um, so if we post it, where does it go? Well, it goes down to here. Um, we don't have an on post, we have an on get. So let's make a on post. And what are we posting? We're posting the zip code. So let's do that. Let's first of all add a zip code property. Um, prop tab tab, we'll get you there. Oops. String. 
zip, all right? And then when they post it, zip is gonna be equal to whatever they sent in. So send in with a request. So request dot form that should do it for us. Something's not something's not right. I think we put this in the wrong spot. That makes a lot more sense. Well struck. All right, now it works, thank goodness. Um, so let's put a breakpoint here and uh, run it and see what happens. Browser open on my other monitor. Okay, let me close this up a little bit. All right, so let's enter a Jacksonville zip code and submit. And you can see that it did indeed post and it should have passed in the 32250. Great, so we know that posting works. Now that we know that posting works, I'm going to add the code that will Take the zip code and look up the weather for the zip code using the API. And to save some time, I'm just gonna copy and paste it. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually call the API. This might take a little formatting. Hold on a second. So here's the URL to that API with my secret key. Don't tell anybody about my secret key. Now, um, why is it giving us fits already? Well, it's because it can only be used with an async method. So let's make this async. And on post async. Great. We might as well make one other change while we're here. And that's because we're not going to re return um, void we're going to return um, uh, action result. So let's change that. You'll see soon enough what I'm talking about. Okay, it's like, ah, you're not returning anything. Um, let's, let's persevere. So now let's read that string that we got and then we will get the JSON and then we have to do a bunch of math to get the correct temperature because if you remember from my previous video this comes back as Celsius and Kelvin now we got all sorts of problems so so let's figure out what we need to do now let's do one more thing let's return page okay that should at least get rid of that squiggle okay so client where is client coming from well once again referencing videos I've made um, we're going to use dependency injection to get this HTTP client and the way we do that is we get the constructor and we say HTTP client client and We'll assign that to a private variable. Um, okay, so first of all, it says, what are you talking about HTTP client? Let's add the namespace. And now it's saying, what, do you, what is this? I don't know what that is. So let's just add that. Okay, very good. So now we have the client. That's happy. This is probably looking for another namespace, so we'll add that. I just added it. And temperature, what is temperature? That's another property. And how do you add properties? You type prop, tab, tab. 
Um, this is a double and it's temperature. Um, so great, all our red errors have gone away. One problem though, where is this coming from? Well, like I mentioned, that's dependency injection, but in order for dependency injection to work, we have to actually let it know. So services dot add singleton. Microsoft recommends a singleton in this situation. Um, HTTP client. <clears throat> and that will, why is it? Oh, because I have to add, once again, namespace. And by adding this, that'll do dependency injection for us. And that's where we'll get this client from. We're almost done. All we have to do now is, well, we have to go back to here because we are not displaying, we're not displaying the result on the page. So let's do one more thing here with my mad HTML skills. And we'll say you, and uh, no, we'll say temperature. Temperature is, and here we can see how this model is going to help us. The index model, um, that temperature property, we just say capital M model dot temperature, and it'll take, um, it'll take this value that we assigned to, you know, the property, we assigned a value to it and it will put it in there. So let's run it and hope it works. use that zip code again. It's a little cold today in Florida. Oh, I have a break point. So very good. Let's just walk through here. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Temperature is 65 degrees. Is that what our page shows us? Yes. Success. So what have we done? Not only did we make a razor page, but we called an API a third party API. We use dependency injection and uh, on post async. I would call that a successful day.